Hello Nildrex, so last time in our video we discussed about what are the treasures, how they can provide you skills and so in today's video we will be talking about what is a greater asset than even treasures which provide you 250% of buff. But before starting my video make sure you are gone through all my last episodes so that this video will make even more sense as I am making a tutorial or a guide from castle level 1 to castle level 30 and how different stuff works for you as you can see my this base is looking a little bit different and this is castle level 16 but in my last video it was 23 so how did it come back this is my farm account actually so why do we make farm accounts to transfer my resources to my main account so about that i will be coming on that on later videos but on today's video we will be sincerely focusing on academy so academy is a great asset you can get different types of buff by completing all these productions and battle researches simply researching battle will help you opening new uh, warriors new tier troops whereas in production you will get high level buffs and different types of artifacts i guess but this is a hidden compartment it only opens after level 23 and this is the one which will give you high level of buffs as you can see even in the starting is 10 percent it can take you to like 250 percent each and it will help you a lot as as you can see there are not many that many type of this thing there are resource capacity resource production each will take a huge cost on you that's why i was focusing on having only one barrack and increasing your production while gathering with too many infantries so what you have to uh, take in mind is number one make sure that uh, in production series you will focus on all level ones all food capacity gold capacity food gathering speed should be high you can skip crystal gathering if you want to as this doesn't make much of a sense as it all also take one hour for crystal gathering and with even with this five plus it's still taking me one hour so i don't know what is this is for then there is infantry storage and you have to max it all out as it, it will increase your load of your troops then there is research speed as you can see it works th with the boosters construction C also important resource protect not so much important as I am in a continent where we have made a council on a discord and we don't attack each other a lot so I mean this is not that much useful for us. For other level 2 productions yep again important capacity also important research speed construction food gathering uh, it just multiplies the buff you already have from 40 it can take you to 80% it's not that much I can understand but yep it's important now this i have on my main account have maxed all of these like infantry defense hp infantry attack but if you are new player i will suggest you to uh, uh, not max max out all this stuff like attack defense hp you can max out speed uh, troop load then open d2 uh, warriors then you can just again not max all of this and then marching troop capacity you need to max this one out you need to do this one then t3 troops you need troop speed here you can max it out and uh, hospital capacity no need to max it out speed up healing capacity no need to max out guardians when you have this a t force then uh, after completing rally size you can go back and start maxing out everything else same as the production when you reach a certain level and start maxing out stiff or your academy is free just uh, put anything for the research as you don't want to waste time and resources that much this is an important one you can max everything out in this section as it will give you a lot of buffs so one thing is that you, you as you can see each and every one of these require a lot amount of resources and i can understand getting these resources without paying is pretty hard but in my previous videos i have explained how you can gather a lot of resources 
but even with that it's pretty hard on that how to gather that many resources how to get free crystals even more i can tell you guys how to get even more crystals for free you can get free crystals you can have a lot of gathering for free you can speed up your gathering even more in my next detailed video all about crystals speed and gathering speed so the video is right on the screen what are you thinking about just click on it and let's move on